is for life. Unboxed. In this short video, we would like to show you briefly how the Cubic 20L extinguishing barrier is replaced. You can also do this yourself on site. First of all, we check the pressure in the cylinder. It's zero bar after being triggered, as in this case. This means we can replace the cylinder safely and without any danger. In the second step, we pull the plug-in cable downwards and separate the electrical connection between the control system and bottle. A suitable lifting tool or a second person is required for this work, as the weight of the bottle is not insignificant. Next, we loosen the four bolts between the bottle and flange. so that we can lift the extinguishing canister down. Once all four bolts have been loosened, we can lift the extinguishing canister down and safely disconnect it. We would now like to show you how the nozzle system is repaired after being triggered. We remove the gasket the adapter sleeve from the welded flange and the activated SJX hygiene nozzle. We now check all of the components for soiling and damage and, as you can see here, there is slight soiling, so safety goggles should be worn during this work. Once we have cleaned the components, we install the new SJX into the welded flange with the gasket supplied. and fit the adapter sleeve accordingly. We can now install the new cubic canister. It is important here that the transport cover is only disassembled shortly before the welded flange. We use the new gasket that was supplied with the cubic canister for the connection between the welded flange and cubic barrier canister. In order to safely perform the work, we have hung the canister onto our pulley. We now fit all of the bolts again and tighten them. And we now connect the new cubic extinguishing barrier with the plug-in cable and thus re-establish the connection between the cubic extinguishing barrier and XCOP Express controller. The system is now ready for operation again.